Do you love surprises? Most of us do. Some surprises, however, have a bit more of an impact on your life than others. When it comes to pregnancies, there are certain surprises that parents would like to avoid. Some parents get a big surprise when they expect a girl, but then a boy is born. The surprise that Nicole and Matthew Zissimers got was a very scary and almost unthinkable one. Nicole and Matthew met online in 2012 and started their journey together soon after. For the first time in few years, they were both focused on their careers and just enjoyed life together. Matthew worked as a chiropractor and was still focused on establishing himself in his work. Being successful at work would give him the means to later provide for a family. Nicole was also focused on her work but was gradually becoming ready to start a family. She enjoyed following a career but her heart's wish would be to become a full-time mom once she has given birth. She did not want to miss out on any developmental milestones and she wanted to enjoy motherhood to the fullest. By the age of 31, she was happily married and expecting a baby. She was healthy, therefore the doctor's visits were few and far apart. If she visited a doctor at all, it was mainly routine checkups. The doctors confirmed what she was experiencing. Both she and the baby were healthy. All that was required of her to look after herself and continue to eat healthy for the duration of the pregnancy. Life could go on almost uninterrupted. The only thing that needed to change during this time was to do the necessary preparations before welcoming a newborn addition to their family. The parents would make sure that they would buy a crib and a stroller and a few additional necessary items as the pregnancy moved along. Although Nicole was healthy during the pregnancy, she suffered from severe morning sickness throughout the pregnancy. This is never easy to deal with, but this mom-to-be wanted to do all she could do to safeguard her unborn child's health. When confronted with the option to make use of painkillers during the birthing process, she carefully considered all her options before deciding to forego the use of painkillers. Instead, she opted to make use of breathing exercises, taking cool showers and using the yoga ball for pain relief. Nicole was one of those women who waited a while to have children. When the time finally came and she was pregnant, she did her homework on the birthing options available. After careful consideration, she opted for a natural home birth. A midwife would assist her to bring her baby into the world in the safety and comfort of her home. She fitted the profile to facilitate a home birth successfully. During her pregnancy, Nicole continued to work in sales. She was healthy and carried quite small and did not feel she had to stop working during the pregnancy. She was expecting to give birth in January of 2019 and still had a bit of time to finalize preparations. One of the things that Nicole and Matthew did a bit differently than most people do these days was not to determine the sex of the baby before the birth date. This was one of the things they wanted to keep as a surprise. The clothing that they had purchased was in neutral colors and they decided to buy additional stuff as soon as they knew what gender the baby was. One morning, at about 36 weeks into her pregnancy, Nicole's water broke unexpectedly. She was rushed to the nearest hospital. The staff at the Gerber Memorial Hospital in Michigan inquired about previous scans. As the pregnancy did not require much intervention, Nicole had no previous scans. The next logical step hospital staff followed was to do a scan to determine the best course of action to take next. In this day and age where scans during pregnancy are so common, you may wonder why the parents did not make use of the opportunity to go for regular scans. For Nicole, the reasoning was that she wanted to handle the pregnancy as natural as possible. If there was no reason for concern, she would not go looking for any. Because of her water breaking, Nicole's body naturally went into labor. The labor process progressed slowly, but the baby was still doing well. Nicole had her mindset on a natural birth at home, but now she was in the hospital. This was the second best option for the time being as Nicole did not want to put her baby's life in jeopardy. After being in labor for over 45 hours, the expectant mom was extremely tired and the labor was not progressing as expected. Although this was not what she had planned, Nicole opted for an epidural and a suction birth. Little baby girl Blakely was born two hours later at 10 p.m. on December 30, 2018. This was a wonderful surprise for the parents who now for the first time knew that it was a baby girl. She weighed 4 pounds and 4 ounces, about 1.9 kilograms at birth. Normally, when your baby is born, the pain subsides. You are so blessed to hold your little baby in your arms. The reward for the painful process you had to go through completely overshadowing any pain you still feel. With Nicole, the pain did not subside. 
As a matter of fact, it was excruciating, making doctors concerned that there was something else seriously wrong with their patient. For both the parents, but especially for Nicole, this was a very scary and uncertain moment. When you are in such pain, you desperately want doctors to help you, but you also do not want to be confronted with bad news. During the process of stitching her up and while retrieving the placenta, it became clear that there was something wrong. Maybe an ultrasound could reveal what was wrong with this otherwise healthy woman. You won't believe what happened next. At first, the ultrasound could not reveal the problem until doctors made a fascinating discovery. The source of the pain Nicole was experiencing was now becoming clear. Initially, the staff could not believe what they saw. The doctor thought he was making a mistake, but his years of experience soon convinced them that he was making the right diagnosis. What was visible inside of Nicole's body was another baby head. Still hiding away in the mother's body, another baby was waiting to be delivered into this world. Yes, you heard me correctly. All the time Nicole was carrying twins. There was absolutely nothing pointing to that possibility. This couple had not even for a moment considered that they might be expecting twins. If that was the case, they would have bought two of each thing they needed for the babies and they would have opted for a twin stroller. Nicole was so shocked to hear that there was a second baby that she bluntly told the hospital staff that they were lying. She was in total shock and found it difficult to process the news they had just shared with the couple. She might have expected many things, but giving birth to twins was not an option. Little baby Kate was born 59 minutes later, weighing a bit heavier than his sister, at about 5 pounds or 2.2 kilograms. All the time he was safely hiding behind his sister's back during the pregnancy. Unfortunately, he had some breathing problems and had to be rushed to a nearby hospital. Spectrum Hospital in Grand Rapids, Michigan could better assist. Nicole and baby girl Blakely remained behind at Gerber Memorial while Matthew joined this little boy, Cade, at Spectrum Hospital. This was a difficult time for the Ziesmer family to get through, but they were soon able to go home and start their life as a family. Expecting to become a family of three, they instantly and unexpectedly became a family of four. This dedicated mom enjoys and embraces every moment of her full and busy life raising the twins. Matthew is her greatest supporter and applauds her ability to handle every responsibility with such ease. It is difficult for Nicole to now imagine only having one child. It is as if the second child was always meant to be, although they did not know it during the pregnancy. Nicole finds comfort in the thought that Blakely and Kate will always have each other to lean on and possibly hide behind when needed. Each child has two names. The girl is called Blakely Faith and the little boy is called Cade Matthew, after his father, who was by his side during his first few days on this earth. Did you enjoy this unexpected and almost unthinkable twist to the story? It is always nice to have such a pleasant and inspiring ending. When you subscribe to our channel, you will not miss out on similar uplifting stories.